Modeling with trigonometric functions is an application problem for you. A1. A Ferris wheel with radius of 20 meter rotates once every 40 seconds. Passengers get on at point S, which is 1 meter above the ground. Suppose you get on at S and the wheel starts to rotate. Write an equation which expresses your height as a function of time. Well, this is a basic problem with Ferris wheel and we are going to do a couple of problems with Ferris wheel to figure out many different things. It's an extremely important application which we are going to deal with. So let's first understand this. So let's assume, well, this is our Ferris wheel. Correct. And now, and that's the center. Passages get at a position S, which is one meter above the ground. So let's say this is the position S and it is one meter above the ground and let's say this is our ground. So it is one meter above this ground. Correct? So what we will consider here is uh, let's say this is our vertical axis. And uh, let's consider this to be our horizontal axis of symmetry for this particular case because because that's the center right so if a person gets in here and the various ferris wheel starts moving then you see as you as the ferris wheel move counterclockwise the person starts moving up right and reaches the maximum at this point going down and then again up from here so once let me draw the maximum it will go highest height retained attained by the person will be this and that is going to be the lowest position. So these are maximum minimum values for us and uh, the curve could be given like this. Correct? So now look at it once again. Let's say this is our starting point S. Correct? So as the ferris will move upwards, the position of the person, the height is gained, right? At this point, height is same as the center of the wheel. And then maximum height when half the revolution has been done for the ferris wheel. In the next half, the height of the person decreases. Do you see that? And it, after one full rotation, it comes back to the original position right so that is the time period for our function right and this function rotation can be represented as a sine function you can say or a cosine function as you may call sine or cosine are relatively same functions the only difference is that cosine is 90 degrees shifted from the sine right okay now modeling with trigonometric function means we need to represent the height of the person in a form of an equation. And since the graph looks like a sine function, the best way is to write it in the form of a sine or a cosine function, right? Okay. Now, why am I saying cosine also? Cosine function starts from maximum, sine starts from the middle value. Here, this is starting from the lowest position. So we can use minus cos of angle, right? Without even getting into the phase shift because calculating phase shift is kind of tricky. So we'll talk about it later. At present, what we can think this as minus cos and that will take care of phase shift for us for the time being. Okay? So we can say that a ferris wheel has got radius of 20 meters. That means from here to here it is 20 right and already we have one position above correct so this is 20 and this is 20 40 40 plus 1 is 41 so if in our coordinate plane if that is my origin right and let me draw it extend it further now let me extend it with a blue dark line let's say this is my axis now this is x right and that is y Now, along y-axis, 
we are taking height of a person with time. So let's say this is height with time and the height is in meters and this is time and time is in seconds. Seconds. Now it says a ferris wheel with radius of 20 meters that means from here to here it is 20 from here to here it is 20 and this is 1 so it becomes 21. So the maximum height at this position this should be 21 for us right so this position is 21 and how about this this we know is 1 correct plus 1 and the center will be 1 plus 20 oh, sorry this is 41 1 plus 20 is 21 and 21 plus 20 is 41 correct so that is how the thing is now we see that it takes 40 seconds for one rotation that means to come from here to here this time period let me draw like this is one full wave and that is 40 seconds this is 40 for us correct so we kind of got our model here so we see well the movement along the ferris wheel can be shown as a sine function right which makes as the wheel rotates one full circle in 40 seconds we have a sine wave whose time period is 40 seconds correct so we know the first part and that is time period so we say well time period t equals to 40 seconds right and you know the constant k equals to constant k this implies k equals to 2 pi by 40 correct so let's use degrees at present okay so one full circle is 360 degrees so we'll say k is 360 over 40. 360 over 40 can be simplified 4 goes 9 times 36 0 0 cancel out and you get k as 9 so we get the k value of our sine function okay now what is this k value i'm talking about okay so we are talking about the general form of our sine function and the general form is let me write down here uh, okay let me write down here we say f of x in this case we should have written ht which i'll write here but generally f of x is equals to a times any function i'm writing f because it could be sine or cosine we'll decide later k times x minus p plus q okay so that is the general form of our sine function where this function could be sine or cosine correct now from here k value which gives us horizontal compression right it also tells us how many waves are there within 2 pi or 360 degrees right one full circle is 360 degrees correct so at present let me take in degrees right so so this is 360 degrees so we get by 40 we get 9 as the k value so that's the first part now for this sine wave what is the maximum we say maximum value is equal to 41 and what is minimum value minimum is the place where the person sit and that is one one now what is the axis of symmetry the center or the middle value average value you should say right it is always right in the center it should be 21 but how do we really find it by adding them and dividing by two average value averages add all the numbers and divide by the number of numbers right so that average value actually gives us the value of q so we have q which is equals to 41 plus 1 divided by 2 which is 42 divided by 2 as 21 correct so we get 21 as expected do you see that correct now how do you get the amplitude now amplitude is basically the value from the average to the maximum correct it is same as from average to minimum also it is same as from here to here also correct this is also same but we always consider amplitude as positive right 
even if the wave is below the x-axis, amplitude is always positive, right? So what is the value of A? A is maximum minus minimum divided by 2. So it is 41, in this case, minus 1 divided by 2. 41 minus 1 is 40, 40 divided by 2 is 20, right? So we get 40 over 2, which is 20, correct? So we, are, we have the value for A, K, and Q. Now we need to find the value of P, okay? Now P can be seen in many different ways. And that is kind of very critical. Now when we say one full wave is 40, then half should be how much? This point is half of 40, right? So I will write this as 20, correct? Now what is half of 20? Half of 20 is 10. Okay. So basically our scale is 10, 20 and this is 30 from symmetry, right? So these two points are symmetrical, correct? So, so that is what we have. So if you are considering a sine wave, then basically sine wave is starting after 10 seconds, right? So P becomes 10, do you understand? Now if you are considering a cos wave, then cos wave is starting after 20 seconds, do you see that? to 20 so p will be 20 is that okay so that is how we get sine and cosine another way to write this is we can consider as inverse uh, negative right cos normally starts like this and we say minus cos that is another way of writing it so we have we can write this equation in couple of different ways at times in the test paper you may have to write it in four different ways okay now let me give you a few answers here. So looking into all this, we say our function h of t should be equal to, let me use this pen now. So we say h of t is equal to a is 20 for us, 20. And the function, let me use sine first. Sine of, let me use square brackets. k, k is 9, 9 x minus because it's on the right side minus p now sine wave starts from here correct that is the starting point for sine always look for a point where the wave intersects the mean line axis of symmetry right and it is rising not falling rising so that's the point which is at 10 so x minus 10 bracket close plus how high it is 20 plus 1 21 which got here so that is our function as a sine function. We could have also written this function as cosine function. So we'll write this as cosine function a same, right? The cos within bracket 9 x minus. Cos starts from the top, right? So it is shifted 20 units to the right. So we have x minus 20 bracket close plus 21, right? Now 20 is also half the time period. So if you have, if you know cos function x minus half the time period, it is minus of cos, right? But you could see from here also, it starts like this. So it starts from minimum rather than maximum. So we could have written this also as minus 20 cos of 9x plus 21. So minus cos, so minus cos means instead of starting from maximum, you start with minimum. That is kind of simplest form of giving your answer, right? So there could be different forms for this equation. Now I hope you understand the process by which we model the situation, correct? It is kind of important to understand all these steps because in the next video, where we'll have a similar example, I will not get into details of explaining how a position on a ferris wheel translate into a sinusoidal wave right here you can see as it may moves counterclockwise the position of a person changes and it height increases till the wheel it reaches the maximum point the highest point right and then it decreases and this pattern is followed with a time period which matches with the time it takes 
to make one full revolution. Okay? And then with that you can figure out a model which represents the situation perfectly. Correct? I hope you appreciate it. Go through it once again, try to get all the points and then move on to the other examples. Thank you.